little bit of review tonight and tonight we've got something new from my friends at Herring Shoes. Uh, so these are the Sharpen and they are in a dark green suede. Um, really really nice boots, sort of crossover uh, between smart and casual. Um, this is what you'd call an apron toe, so very very similar to a mock toe in styling um, but slightly uh, the, the upper apron, the, the secondary piece of material coming over the vamp here, um, just comes a little short of the toe, got a slightly lower profile um, and that's what we refer to as an apron toe, so sort of a smart casual style, something which reminds me quite a lot of the, um, the French brand Paraboot, so they've got quite a lot of uh, boots and shoes with this sort of apron toe styling, not quite a mock but uh, with that secondary stitch on the top there. Really nice, really, really nice boots. Um, these are made for herring by a company over in Portugal. I'm not sure who currently, but um, they seem to have done a good job. Uh, really, really nice uh, detailing, um, lovely colour to the suede. And what's particularly interesting to me is these come with a, a Vibram sole, which is always a winner, but this is their lightweight uh, sole which is the gum light um, so it's got a sort of expanded uh, very fine sort of expanded foam sort of feel to it uh, but if, if it's anything like the other Vibram soles that will wear incredibly well um, yeah so a nice pair of sort of smart casuals I think I'll probably be looking at how I could pair these with maybe some chinos maybe for the office uh, I think maybe a dark blue might look good uh, navy chino, maybe a, a sort of tan or a brown chino, but I think they'll look really nice in the office. Um, certainly capable of going uh, off-road a little, um, but not a true country shoe. Um, the tongue, you'll see when we come into the details, it doesn't have um, a bellows on the tongue. Uh, and, you know, to be honest, suede, it's not sort of a, a famously... Uh, waterproof fabric or leather rather um, but yeah really nice looking pair of boots um, so before we get into the details I'll just give a few thoughts on fit so I'm normally an eight I'd say eight is my true size uh, with a formal shoe um, I'm tend to go down half a size um, so things like uh, trickers or barker I'm going down half a size on those and, and indeed the rest of the Herring uh, own brand range I do tend to go down half a size so hopefully that's helpful in terms of how you might choose to size these so I'm saying half a size down in terms of the last uh, I'd say even though it's made in Portugal it's got that English feel uh, quite wide um, maybe not as wide as something like Trickers but um, quite a nice wide last so unless you've got particularly wide feet uh, these should make for comfortable wearing incredibly soft uh, leather, not uh, a huge amount of uh, construction if you will, so I think these are going to break in really really very easily, um, no pinches when I've been trying them on, uh, and I think yeah very easy to live with shoes. Um, so let's have a quick look at them on and then we'll go into the details. So first of all we have them on with some navy chinos, this was the look which I thought would probably work best. Looking really nice there, I think. Next up we have some lighter tan chinos, which also really work. Um, the first thing you notice when you put these on is the gum light sole is really nicely cushioned. Very soft underfoot. These are really, really comfortable straight out of the box. Finally, we've got these on with some denim. Not my immediate preference, um, maybe a slightly slimmer leg, maybe uh, without the turn up, but I think a lot of people would really like that. Just coming in with some close ups on these uh, Sharpen from Herring Shoes. Uh, we'll start from the bottom. We've got the really nice uh, Vibram lug sole. Really, really like Vibram soles, certainly the lug, incredibly useful, hard wearing. Um, this is the Vibram gum light, uh, something that I haven't had before, it's uh, more of a foam base rather than a hard rubber, 
I'll be really interested to see how that wears. Um, but if it's like any other Vibram sole, I think it will be pretty good. Uh, the heels uh, got a few nails that you can see holding it on there. Very nice. Um, nice leather uh, build up on the sole. Nice burnishing. Obviously, this is a, a welted sole, so that can be rebuilt, resold when the time comes. It's got this very nice suede in dark green. And then, of course, you've got the apron toe, which is slightly more delicate, lower profile than a, a normal mock toe that you might find on, say, some red wings. But quite nice detailing. Got a pull tab at the back there and a another piece up the heel there. And then you've got a five eyelet uh, closure with a couple of speed hooks, so that really helps out. So you don't need to take all your laces out, you can quickly relace it. In moments at the top there and a, uh, a fairly fine waxed lace just have a quick look on the inside got this one without laces on as I say this is not a a true uh, country boot doesn't have any bellows on the tongue there um, but I think this is more a smart casual leather line throughout, a really nice fine supple leather, got a leather footbed and uh, just there we can see Herring by Carlos Santos, so uh, mystery solved on who's putting these shoes together um, over in Portugal. If you've had any experiences with uh, other boots made by Carlos Santos, uh, please do share your thoughts. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So this was the uh, Herring Sharpen, one of their new models. Uh, if you've had these or are thinking about getting them, please comment below. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them. If you've had any experience with these boots or anything else from Herring, please share your thoughts below. I've had pretty good experiences. I think they make a good boot. Um, if you think about picking these up from Herring, also check out my discount code below, you'll get 10% off. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I will report back on how these break in and uh, my experiences with them. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please do check it out. Uh, lots of quality footwear, uh, denim, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Please check it out, we might share some other common interests. Uh, if you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.